Whoa, looks like Charles is ready to get going. But just wait. Thanks for watching. Yeah, it would be great if I could get installing all this. You know, I've got my fan and my vent. I've got a camera system um, and some a different kind of cardboard with templates. And especially, I'm going to make templates on the walls to show where screws can go in. But I'm sort of in a holding pattern, which is kind of uh, okay, because, again, I wasn't really ready just yet to do this. So it's given my wife and I time to kind of straighten up the garage. And um, I help, but my wife made a, an, another nice small... Um, um, workbench on casters and so the compound miter saw will have its home and then we already have another workbench for the table saw and I may be getting um, just a, a not a big uh, drill press for getting some perfectly made holes and some metal and other things that I'll need to do um, and so I just want to tell you one thing I'm, I'm not considering I'm going to do is, is I talked about doing a one weekly episode that would be 20 to 30 minutes and I've decided to to mix that up a little bit. I think instead I'm going to shoot more for a 10 or 15 minute episode um, once a week and then in between will be um, at least two maybe more sometimes of short little episodes like today, a little update. And so um, I, I just think it's going to work better, It'll make it easier for me to edit and plus you know 30, 40 minutes long that some people do, it's a time commitment and people are busy and so uh, I want to try to keep things as concise as possible. So what am I doing now? I'm thinking a lot. I'm up here. I, I realize I need to take that plastic housing up there to get the wiring off. I'm trying to decide where the wiring and as soon as I make my cardboard mock-ups and you'll be seeing that of course, um, that's really going to help me decide where I want my outlets, my normal house outlets and it's a pretty, it's going to be a pretty simple system. The power's going to come in, an outlet I think, I don't know which side you have to think about that and uh, everything will run off of that and then I, I ha I'll have it so I can just unplug it and plug into um, another um, strip, power strip and that will be fed um, by uh, some of the EcoFlow batteries. So I'll just have a, a way of doing that and plus they're, they're portable especially when I get the R600 I can just pick it up and bring it over to plug in a microwave or to run this or that. So uh, I'll have a lot of flexibility there. I won't have to worry about a million wires but I do have to get some pre-wiring done to get the um, the ceiling lights, probably six or eight up there, and then some wiring over here, maybe some reading lights and things like that. So I'm kind of thinking a lot. The fan and vents, uh, I have to wait. I need, I would love to cut the holes and put them in right now, but I'm waiting for adapters that are coming in. It was easier with the runaway, but it's flat, but this has got ribs, so I've, I found that. My sound deadening um, material coming from uh, Kill Mats should come in this week, and as soon as I get it, I'm going to, uh, maybe even today, take a drive on some on the highway and then maybe a gravel roads and I've got a decibel meter and we'll see what it sounds like when it's all empty and then I'll, I'll probably do a partial install go out and do it again so I'll, you'll be able to see how the sound deadening works and I'm, it, I will be doing kind of an overkill because they're sending me a lot and so I'll probably be putting in more than most people um, I already know about that 20-30% rule but we'll probably put in a lot more I'm going to be putting I've got a, a fixed mount here for a couple of seat belts and I already know what you're thinking it's not safe to have seat belts, people sitting sideways, and I know what can happen. This would not be for grandkids. This is our long bench, and so I'm thinking seat belts for my wife and I. We're in the middle of Iowa or Kansas. One, somebody wants to take a nap, which we do that. Somebody lay back, would lay in the back of the van. And so here they could lay, one of us could lay down, have a seat belt over us, two of them, just to kind of hold us in. Um, I know about safety issues, so you, can, you, you don't have to be a life coach on that one. I'm waiting on the windows. I ordered some C.R. Lawrence bunk windows that crank out, so I'll be cutting those. And I may see if a, um, I have a body shop help me put those in, but, but it looks like I could do it myself. Uh, I have the ladder, and uh, just that, that I can install two screws, and I've got it. Um, I've got um, a, a bunch of plus nuts coming because there are holes everywhere, and if you, put, if you know about plus nuts, they fit in those holes. They expand, and then you've got places to uh, run bolts and screws in. So um, I'm waiting on that. So I'm kind of working on that wiring strategy. And uh, other than that, the, the order of events, once I get the sound editing done, my plan is, um, since I'm waiting on the ceiling and the walls, I'm going to go ahead and get the floor put in with insulation. And pretty much my plan will be um, rigid foam insulation, probably an inch thick. There'll be a, a, um, wood pieces across, thin wood pieces, and they'll fit in between and then that will be all taped with the silver tape and then um, that will be the same insulation that's going to go up here as well um, and then there will be uh, on the sides I'll be using uh, mineral wool Roxol or, or one of those brands mineral wool uh, there'll be some framing 
and then uh, Reflectix sealed in all around, all around um, as a vapor barrier. I know it's all highly uh, controversial how you do this or that, but that's how we're going to do it. We're not going to be in deep, deep cold, but now and then we may be in cold weather, and I think this is going to work out just fine. Um, and uh, we'll have air moving all the time with the vents, even in cold weather. We're, we're going to have some air moving in here, so I think it'll all be fine. And there's just a little update, and uh, I'll get going on my cardboard mock-ups and get that filmed. And uh, I'll get back with you soon. Thanks for watching.